What's up, fam? It's another Black Watch quick hit. You know, I, I don't know if I've done a good job or a bad job of not being roped into the Twitter battles. I'm really not proficient on Twitter. I'll admit that. I'm learning the ways, but uh, now I've gotten into a discussion that I take the ADOS movement very seriously because it's allowed me to understand that I'm more than black. I'm not just a black man. I'm not even just a black American. I'm an American descendant of slavery. So I have a certain space in this country that other people who are black don't have. Therefore, there are certain things that are owed to me and other American descendants of slavery that other people haven't earned. Um, I follow people on Twitter. So one of the things that I do is every now and then, if it's a something that I know about, I will engage in the conversation. A lot of times people don't respond, not because I'm nonsensical, but probably because as most people do, they, they look and see where I'm at. They look and see my other tweets and my other tweets basically just come through my IG post. I'm really not on Twitter like that. But I had somebody respond to me a couple days ago as I was responding to Yvette Carnell's uh, tweet about, uh, I believe it was actually about Boyce Watkins. I'm actually trying to bring it up here now um, because we've had these people and, and Yvette and Tone like to, Antonio Moore, like to use the term grifter. Um, back in the day, uh, we would call it a biter. <laughs> um, but, you know, there, there are grifters out here who basically attach themselves to something, to the newest thing, you know, um, whatever it is, they like to jump in and then jump out when it's convenient. They don't really want to put in the work. Um, they don't really want to grind. They just want to be there for the photo op, uh, for the opportunity, whether it's, you know, monetary or whatever. And um, personally, I think Boyce Watkins is doing that. Um, because I responded based on, uh, and here it is, uh, this was Yvette Carnell you know, on her Breaking Brown uh, Twitter page. And here comes boys, the other loud, no nothing in the peanut gallery pulling up rear. Boys sells reparations now t-shirts, then hops on Twitter telling his followers how it ain't gonna never happen. The grift is real. And that's all she put, you know, and that's pretty, pretty mild for Yvette, to be honest with you, because she can get in that ass when she really needs to. But she just put that up there. And then there started to be replies from her tweet. And I saw one from uh, this person is <sighs> Melanated Mind Frame. OK, now I guess my my biggest issue when people talk about melanation, melanated, um, they're talking generally about black people. Now, you can have melanin in your skin and not be black. I mean, you could be Latino, you could be Hindu, you could be Native American, you can be Asian. Uh, you can be a lot of things and not be black and have melanin in your skin. But this person says that they're a melanated mind frame. So I'm going to take it that they're black. They may not be, but I'm going to take it that they're black. So when they responded, and I saw their response to Yvette's tweet, I decided to jump in. I guess I'm being nosy, but it's not really being nosy because it's on Twitter and it's public. So you're really not being nosy. And I think that's what Twitter is really about. I've just tried to stay away because I hear about all these Twitter beefs and Twitter fights. And I got enough shit in my life where I really don't need to get into a Twitter beef. But this person, Melanated Mind Frame, said, do you honestly believe that white people are going to give us reparations? And if so, why would we spend the money here in a racist, corrupt country? There's two issues I got with that. First and foremost, white people don't owe us reparations. The United States government owes us reparations. Now, the fact that the U.S. government is ran by white people, I guess maybe that's what they're saying, but they didn't say that. They said, do you think white people? So I'm going to go with what they said because you say what you mean and you mean what you say. That's what we're taught to do. And Melanated Mind Frame said, do you think that white people are going to give us reparations? Absolutely not. I don't think white people are going to give us shit. I think the United States government is going to give us reparations and you'll hear my reply in just a moment. 
The second thing, it says, if so, why would we spend money here in a racist, corrupt country? Well, melanated mind frame, why do you spend your money right now here in a racist, uh, corrupt country? Because that's where you are. Now, I'm taking that melanated mind frame as a black American. I'm taking that melanated mind frame is an American descendant of slavery, or they wouldn't be partaking in this conversation. Because one thing that I said I'm not going to do is I'm not going to argue with black people about black problems anymore. Okay, definitely ain't gonna argue with white people about them because they just don't know enough. Black people that I'm arguing with about black problems is ignorant. Because if you don't understand the plight of black people for the last 400 to 500 years in this country. Now we got 401 documented, but we know black people were here before that. But we're gonna talk about just the 401 years that we have been systemically oppressed in this country. So if we're just gonna talk about the 401 years, why wouldn't I think that we're owed something when everybody else has been redressed? Indians, Asians, Jews, Everybody has been paid except American descendants of slavery, the people, the very people who built this country. Now, Melanated Mind Frame asked those two questions. So I came back with a response. It was it was late. It was late because I don't get on Twitter a lot. And where is my answer at? Oh. Oh, they said something else too. Um, I think before I got that in there. By the way, your reparations money is actually worth more in Ghana. So this is assuming that we get reparations, we should take it back to Ghana. And see, I'm, I'm having a hard time because I'm outside of the post now. And I thought I was actually in the post, but Let's see here. And I got outside the post. It's really weird. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get back in it. Uh, Air gun voice blah 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 retweets. Hmm. So yeah, I retweeted. I didn't retweet the post. So like I said, this is this is this is just me being, you know, not being uh Okay. So somebody liked my reply and how come I can't bring up my reply? Because I said, I absolutely do believe that the United States government is going to do that. And when I said that, then that just brought off a whole storm of insults. Not really a lot, but I guess when people get, when they get angry nowadays, um, they try to go to the, the the insult thing. And I'm not one of those people where I'm just gonna let you beat me up and talk shit to me without saying anything. So what I did was I tried to go at it uh, amicably, you know, on, on a civil, civil fashion. You know, I don't see a reason to argue with, like I said, black people about black problems. Um, but the biggest problem that I had with Melanated Mind Frame, and unfortunately, I should have screenshotted the shit because it looks real unprofessional that I'm sitting here trying to find something, find my point. But either way, they just kept deflecting and deflecting. And then I asked the person, are you a U.S. citizen? Do you live in America, have a job here, have a check and that is rendered with U.S. currency? They said, now you're deflecting. And I said, no, I'm not deflecting. Um, it's not about deflecting at this point because if we're here already and we're owed the money here, why would we take money that we're owed here for the land that we perked and cultivated and built up and then take that money and take it somewhere else, take it to the very land that cast us away? It doesn't make any sense to me. And 
Now I've got to go stand in line with other have nots, even though I may have some reparations money, which is going to do me no good in Ghana or wherever. And I've got to go stand in line. I'm already standing in line. Why would I go stand in line in another continent? See, a lot of people think Africa's a country, but Africa's not a country. Africa's a continent. So what, which country in that continent am I going to stand in? I don't even know because we don't know. And I'm not getting on Ancestry.com to figure out where the fuck I came from. Maybe Melanated Mind Frame has done that. Maybe they know they're from Ghana. Maybe they have family in Ghana. I don't know that. Never looked at that. I don't get postcards from Ghana and don't send none to Ghana. But the big thing for me is this person lives here. This person works here, they earn here, and it sounds like possibly that their family's been here for a while. I don't know because they're only a melanated mind frame. So I don't even know if I'm, if I'm debating, because I'm not arguing, if I'm debating with a black person. I could just be debating with Rachel Dolezal. Rachel Dolezal has a melanated mind frame, you know? I could be just debating with Rachel Dolezal. I don't know. But to think that someone thinks I should take anything that I get from this country that I'm owed and take it to another country that cast me away is fucking lunacy. And Antonio Moore, uh, I just watched his video yesterday about AB uh, 3121, I believe it's called. It's the reparations bill that's been put into law in California. Now, California is not going to pay reparations to the, to the citizens, black citizens, American descendants of slavery, citizens of California, but it's a start and it's much better because it's in line with ADOS 101 versus what the people of North Carolina did, Asheville, North Carolina did, where they got reparations and got no money. All they got was what they were going to get, which is empowerment zones. They got a way in. Well, we should already have a way in. We've been here the whole time. Why don't we have a way in? But why does everybody else have a way in? If you think about Joe Biden and what Joe Biden has done during his whole campaign, how he has ignored black people, literally ignored black people, that's a problem. And the reason it's a problem is because he needs the black vote to win. If Joe Biden does not garner enough black voters, he's not going to win. And Donald Trump's going to be president for four more years with COVID or not. He's going to be president. President. Excuse me. Got to get that out of there. Okay. So, in thinking about what Joe Biden had said, um, and I want to see if I can bring this up. I, I'm not real successful. I wasn't real, really prepared because I'm just really out here. I've just been thinking about some things. And um, I had to get this off my chest. I've only got another minute and a half before I got to get out of here. Joe Biden basically had said that black people were one dimensional and Latinos were much more diverse. But before Joe Biden said that, he said this. Let me get that. Look at what Joe Biden had to say concerning reparations for the descendants of American slavery. Vice President Biden, do you support reparations? Well, let, let me, since I haven't spoken on this, get a chance. Um, number one, the reason where the country we are is because of immigration. We've been able to cherry pick the best from every single continent. The people who come here have determination, resilience. They are ready to stand up and work like the devil. We have 24 out of every 100 children in our school today is Hispanic. The idea that we are going to walk away and not provide every opportunity for them is not only stupid and immoral, but it's bad for America. They are the future of America. And we should. I ain't going to give him no more. He said Latinos were the future of America. He went to South Carolina and said, black people, number one priority. He looked in the camera and said, gays are my number one priority. Kamala said that she's going to build up for Hindus. They don't know what they want to do. They don't know who's the number one priority. They don't know what they're going to do in their first hundred days. And you know why? Because they're running scared. And frankly, 
I don't think they have what it takes to win this election. One love.